Hi guys, okay, here is another video and I've wanted to make this one as well for quite a long time. Um, it's a really nice IA idea. It's nice for a number of reasons. One, so it's graph theory, um, which is in the AIHL course. Now before you turn off the video and think, oh, I'm not in AIHL, don't worry. This is, the maths behind this actually isn't that hard. And if you're in SL, or either of the AAs, you get, well, it shows personal engagement if you've gone and looked up how to do, or you've independently learned new maths. Um, so yeah, it's a really good idea for any course, whichever course you're doing. And if you're doing HL, it actually ticks the kind of HL maths only box. Um, so yeah, it's really, it's a really good idea. Now it's also good because it's quite a nice personal topic what we're going to do we're going to take um well what i'm going to do in this video is i'm going to do a little trip around europe and i'm going to try my aim will be to minimize either and again you can choose what you want to do here guys but you might want to minimize the cost of the trip or the distance traveled in the trip or even the um time it takes to to do the trip or or the time it takes traveling. So yeah, like I do with all my videos, guys, I'm gonna give you a, a kind of one idea, but obviously you can do whatever you want and adapt this to whatever, or certainly do a different trip than the one I'm gonna do. Or at the end, I'm actually gonna show you another little um, add-on idea that, that you can do. So um, please guys, if you like the video, if, or if it's useful, like and subscribe, and please share with um, any of your friends. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start at, I'm going to start in Lyon. Why? Because that's where my wife is from and we're there in the summer. Then I want to decide where we're going to go on a trip and I need to decide which cities do I want to go to. So again, have your reasons for going to the different trip, but I like uh, AC Milan. They're my team, so I'm definitely gonna to go to Milan. I also have been to Sofia and liked it, so I'm gonna to go to Sofia. I'm gonna to go to um, Prague, it's nice. Um, maybe, where else will I go? Um, maybe maybe Brussels. Uh, oh, I wanna to go to Barcelona for sure. Okay, and whatever, let's say you wanna, you can add in a few more if you want. So these are the cities I'm gonna to go to. Now you may, and again, you can look this up easily on Google. How am I gonna go from one city to another? So you can decide, do you wanna go, do you want this whole thing to be done by plane or by train? Um, or do you wanna drive it? Up to you. If you are going to, um, I don't know, go on, go on the train, you might have to, Maybe, for example, Barcelona, you can go from the train, you can go on the train from Barcelona to Milan and from Barcelona to Belgium and Barcelona to Lyon, but you can't go direct from Barcelona to Sofia. You have to go through Milan. I don't know, you can figure that out. Milan, you can go to Sofia, you can go to Prague. Sofia, you can go to Prague. Um, Lyon, definitely you can go to Milan. And I don't know, let's say these join up here and these join up here. So I've obviously just made this up. So this is kind of my graph of my trip. So I need to decide in which order am I going to go to the different cities. Now what you're actually going to essentially be doing is solving, well what I would do in this situation, is I'm solving the traveling salesman problem, which is essentially to go to all the different towns or the vertices when we're talking graph theory, and um, so go to all of them and minimize the minimize the uh, the whatever it is the cost or the time. So let's say the cost to go from um, Barcelona to let me make this a little bit bigger. I'm gonna get to this in a second, guys. Let's say to go from Barcelona to um, Brussels was 200 to go from here to here was 100 and you can you can um, label the edges 
um, or weight the edges, give the edges weight. So this might be 150, etc. Or you can do this in time, minutes to to travel. Um, or you can do it in um, in a dis the distance between the towns. So maybe you actually want to minimize how much maybe you got you're driving in the car and you want to you want to save petrol something like that so there's lots of different aims you can do so that's kind of the the idea now what i've brought in here is a past paper question from um well it's actually from the specimen paper two and it's a similar kind of thing and i think i've mentioned in one of my previous videos i like to look at past paper questions particularly the long questions to kind of help give me ideas for what m you might include in an IA. And I think this is really nice because this this table, which you can then create from your graph or create the table first and then create a graph or whatever, um, it shows the, um, the departure city and the destination city. So it's actually the cost, look, the following table shows the cost in US dollars of direct flights between cities. So for example, you can't fly direct from A to E. So I don't know, that might be San Francisco, and that might be Chicago or whatever. I'm sure you can fly from San Francisco to Chicago. But um, for some reason you can't fly from A to D, E or F. So maybe that's a small city. You can only go to B and C. And then through this table, and by creating the graph, you can create an adjacency matrix. Now again, if, for those of you who haven't studied um, um, who haven't studied uh, graph theory, you may not as well, you won't know what any of these uh, technical terms mean, but again, you can learn it, guys. On my AIHL course, I have all the lessons there for um, graph theory. Anyway, um, you can talk about all this, and then you can, you can fill in this table, which actually would include the cost to get from A to E, because you'd have to go through another city, um, you can, yeah, you can, just because there's no direct flight from A to E doesn't mean you can't go from A to E. A bit like here in our example, just because there's no um, direct flight from, say, Barcelona to Sofia, I can still go there if I go through Milan. Um, and you can find, guys, uh, that's another thing that makes this IE quite quite nice and personal. You can go, go on the internet and actually find the price of flights um, between the between the cities. And then, this is kind of the end, a traveling salesman has to visit each of the cities starting and finishing at city A. So I, in my example, I would start in uh, Lyon, and, f and I want to finish in Lyon, because I want to come back to um, well, my wife's family's house. So how do, I, how do I go to all those cities and come back in the least amount of time or at the least cost? So there's lots of different things you can do. And then you can use the, the nearest neighborhood algorithm to find an upper bound for the cost of the trip. And you can find a lower bound using the deleted vertex algorithm. Again, if you haven't studied graph theory yet, you, you won't know what that means. But it's, again, the, the maths behind this isn't actually that difficult. Um, so anyone can do it. Okay, the last thing I wanted to mention was you could also do another good idea. But again, there's loads of ideas you can do here. Um, but imagine an, another idea I've thought about is a school bus. So imagine this is actually Dubai and let's say my school is actually here somewhere. So imagine, I'm going to just copy this. Imagine I have a school bus. And he wants to go, um, he starts at the school, so our school is here, and he needs to pick up people. Let's say, I'm just totally making this up, he needs to pick up people here, um, here, 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 I don't know, whatever, here, and then come back to the school. Because obviously he, the bus is at the school and he needs to bring everyone back to the school. What's the best route he can go to to come back to the school in the least amount of time? Now there's lots of things you can add in there, like for example traffic um, and uh, traffic lights. Does that have any effect on things? 
etc etc so another kind of good add-on to this right so hopefully guys that's useful on its own i didn't want to make this video too long lots of things you can do um really like this idea any questions uh, let me know in the comments below and i'll try to get back to you okay all the best